Hey guys, hello everyone. So we will be today discussing on R programming. So we will be downloading the R and R Studio today for Windows operating system and we'll check out how does it work. So in order to download R for your computer for your laptops you have to go to the website that is cran.r-product.org okay so once you're there inside this particular project okay you are there in this project in this particular website cran.r-project.org go for the option which is windows if you're working on windows Look for the option download R for Windows, which is the third option for us. Now, before downloading, let me tell you, when you're working on R programming for the first time and you're downloading R on your laptops for the first time, make sure you know which operating system you have, whether it's a 32-bit or a 64-bit, okay? So I have a 64-bit. So I'll go ahead and first of all download R and then I'll go ahead and download the R Studio. Okay, so let's click on this. So I'll click on download R. Okay, and I'm installing it for the first time. So that is why I need to click right over here, install R for the first time. Okay, so for those who are installing R for the first time, click on this. So once I click over here, so automatically it will tell you which version you have in your laptop, in your computers. And I have 64 bit. So the recommended one is download 4.3.1 for Windows. Okay. So I'll just click on this one. Now, once I click on this one, see the downloads. Now it's downloading. Okay. So let it get downloaded. So once the exe file is downloaded, what you can do, you can just go ahead and click on the file. Okay. Now, once you click on the file, there will be a pop-up. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. Okay. Click on yes. And then you have to select your language which language you prefer for installation click on ok and then you have to just read the information carefully regarding this okay and then click on next now the file will already be selected over here if you wish you can change it by clicking on browse and then selecting your file location from here okay whether it's a c drive d drive anyone you can select okay so now just click on next once you have selected your drive now again click on next here your it's a 64 bit and all the files will be installed which are related to r so now click on next okay now next the option comes up do you want to customize the startup option startup option means when you start your laptop this particular uh, r which we are downloading right now will automatically open up if you wish you can click on yes if you do not wish to automatically open it up you can click on no okay and then click on next now in this particular step you have to set up like where should the document be or where should the r be in your folder like what should be the folder name so now you can directly click on next i have just given it as r okay now you can select over here you can create a desktop shortcut and these should be selected okay the registry entry should be selected and then click on next again now the files are getting extracted okay wait for some time let it get extracted
So once it is done, the extraction is done, the installation will be completed. Okay, we'll click on finish. Now we have R in our computer, in our laptop. Okay, now our next step is to download the R Studio. Okay, our next step would be downloading R Studio because you cannot run R without an R Studio. Now, what is an R Studio? So, R Studio is just like an editor. It's an editor where you can write your code and you can run it in the console section. Okay, now how will you download that? You can go to httpoist.co. Okay product slash open source slash R studio. Okay, you can go to this particular website. I'll mention all these website link in the description box. So you can click on this and then just at the right hand side top download R studio. Click on that. Okay. Now once you click on that, there is an option over here R studio desktop. Don't choose R studio server. Okay. You can use R studio desktop and click on download our studio okay now once you click on that here it will be an option download our studio desktop for windows our studio installation so this we have already done we have already installed R. now what we want to do we have to install the R studio so as i said without downloading R, you cannot install the R studio or if you install the R studio it won't work properly if you are not downloading R. Okay, now click on inst install the second option that is download our studio for Windows. Let it get downloaded. Okay, so once the exe file is downloaded, we'll go ahead and run it. So now we have the file. Now we'll quickly go ahead and run this in our computers. Okay. So, yes. Now we just have to follow the procedures. Now which folder you want to select, you can browse it out and select it out. So I basically recommend to select this destination folder itself where your R is already installed. Okay. Go ahead and click on next. If you wish, you can create like uh, don't create a shortcut. You can uh, put a check mark on that. Click on install. Okay. Now it's getting installed. Wait for some time. Now, once it is installed, you will be able to see how our studio looks like. And then that's it. You will be ready to code with our programming. So we'll click on finish. And then let's wait for the R studio to open up. So that's an R Studio right over here. Okay, now just click on it. So this is our R Studio. So you have to just check out. Okay, so use your machine's default 64 bit version. This one, click on OK. Right, and then here it is. This is our R Studio. Okay how it looks like this is your console this is your terminal this is background okay now in a in my next video i'll be covering everything what all this environment history connections how this whole r studio works thank you so much watching for watching